Hey everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel Balloons and Business where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So today I'm going to bring you with me as I decorate for a client quinceanera. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I took a few years of Spanish in high school but that's been a long time. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to show you how I decorate for this party. I will be doing a simple curtain backdrop stand with a balloon garland. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how I set this up. So I used Gold Reflex Sempertex 12 inch and 5 inch. I used Sempertex Navy 12 inch, 5 inch and 36 inch. Sempertex White 12 inch and Gmar White 19 inch. So it was an electric pump and a hand pump and I put aside 15 balloons to be blown up with helium. So I started off by blowing up two balloons and rounding them out by pressing my hand on the top and releasing air on the bottom and tying them together into dupes, leaving slack at the necks. I wasn't a big fan of these GMAR 19 inch balloons. They had some uh, discoloration and markings on them. So I'm gonna be twisting my clusters together I twisted about six dupes of the white together and when I'm twisting them I'm double twisting them to make sure they're nice and secure I twisted four dupes of the gold together and I twisted eight dupes of the navy blue because I only had uh, the 12 inch navy blue so I twisted more balloons together to really get that navy blue color in the balloon garland So to connect my clusters, I took a neck from one of the balloons in a cluster and took another neck from another balloon in a cluster and I tied them together. And this is how I'm making the base of my balloon garland. Another thing to note, I am color blocking my balloon garland, meaning that my clusters are in the same colors. So I cut some 260 Q balloons in half and I'm going to use those to connect my 5 inch clusters to the base of the balloon garland. I'm just going to take that 260, wrap it around one of the balloons, wrap it back around that small 5 inch cluster and then tie that 260 into itself. And that's how I'm adding all of my 5 inch clusters. And I love using different sizes of balloons. I think it adds visual interest to the balloon garland and gives it a more polished look in my opinion. So here's what the balloon garland looks so far with the five inch decorators. When I transport this, I will be transporting it into two pieces, but this is about 15 feet long. So I decided to make a couple of specialty balloons with the 36 inch navy balloons. I blew up a 36 inch bobo balloon and I'm going to be um, putting some gold glitter in there. And then I'll put the 36 inch navy balloon in there and then blow that up and make a really, you know, pretty little navy blue colored glittery specialty balloon.
So just to show you some of the things I use whenever I go do my jobs, I um, bring my little wagon sort of thing to put all my stuff in. Also, I have my mattress bags to keep my balloons in. This is an extra large mattress bag, and this is a lifesaver, especially if it's a windy day and keep your balloons inside um, and keep them together. I have a Toyota Sienna, which is pretty spacious. So I have my balloon garland in half, like I mentioned before. I have a couple weights for my stand and the rest of my supplies and materials are in here as well. So I'm setting up my backdrop stand with the curtains and uh, this is gonna look a little bit uneven on the camera because uh, my camera stand was on the grass and it was an uneven surface. So it's gonna look like it's leaning a little bit, but it's not really. So I'm gonna use some safety pins to connect the curtains so that the wind doesn't keep separating them when it blows. So this is the backdrop clamp that I'm going to be using. I'm going to set those on top of the curtains and this is how I'm going to connect the balloon garland at the top and sides. So I used the 260 and tied a loop around the balloon garland and then I slid that loop underneath the backdrop clamp as you can see. And so that's how I connected the balloon garland to the backdrop. So I lost some of my footage. I thought I pressed record but I didn't. So I connected the two pieces of the balloon garlands back together again using the 260 balloon. Um, just connected them right there at that corner where that big uh, specialty balloon is. Now I made two of those navy blue specialty balloons but one of them popped. So I decided to take that specialty balloon and put it at the bottom. And then I decided to blow up a um, foil gold crown balloon and put that at the top right there. I felt that it looked better. So I added some more white balloons and some more gold balloons at the bottom because I felt like there wasn't enough gold at the bottom. Okay, so the balloons oxidize a lot so I decided to use some high shine to shine them back up but this time instead of spraying the balloons I actually put some high shine in a bag and dipped a towel in there and soaked it in that high shine and then I started rubbing the balloons individually and as you can see it's actually working so you want to make sure you soak that towel if you're going to do the rub down method instead of the spray method, which I normally use. So, um, and you also want to give yourself about 20 minutes to do this because wiping the balloons individually like this takes time. So since I lost that other specialty balloon, I decided to wipe some high shine on some 12 inch balloons and rub some of that glitter onto those 12 inch balloons and create a little cluster that I twisted at the top so I can get some of that glitter on the top part of the balloon garland. So here is the finished product. I really like how you can see that glitter at the top. It really connects to that specialty balloon at the bottom. And I like how that crown puts a finishing touch on the garland. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe for notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.